Hi everyone, welcome back to Fragrance Finder. I'm your host, Frost Tanner. Today we're gonna to be going over Dolce & Gabbana Anthology Imperatrice. This is an eau de toilette launched in the year 2009 and the perfumer is Natalie Lorson. This bottle is the 100 ml size. It's pretty plain, but the glass is thick. It feels solid. It's got a beefy cap and a beefy atomizer as well. Now let's give it a spray. You can pause the video for a full note breakdown right here. The main notes that I get from this fragrance are pretty much watermelon and kiwi in the opening and on the dry down watermelon and kiwi as well. So pretty much watermelon and kiwi throughout. It's very light, very fruity, it smells almost like a body mist, kind of like you're walking through a kiwi watermelon Jolly Rancher factory. As for the time and occasion, I can definitely see this as being a pick up and wear daily summer spraying fragrance. As for the demographic, I can see someone in their teens to late 20s wearing this. Now I'm gonna rate this fragrance in five different categories. Some of it is feedback I've gotten from my girlfriend who actually wears this, so the experience may be different for you. As for longevity, L'Imperatrice gets a six out of 10 just because it gets about three hours of wear. Not the most impressive. Projection, it gets a seven out of 10. It's not bad, but probably within arm's reach kind of a fragrance. As for my rating, I give this an 8.5 out of 10. You can't go wrong. It's light, fruity, and fun. If you like kiwi, it's a great fragrance. Doesn't sing the nose. For uniqueness, I give this a seven out of 10. It's kind of like an elevated version of a pretty typical body mist. As for value, I give this an eight out of 10. You can get this 100 ml bottle for about 40 Canadian dollars at discounters. Uh, I would say it's good dollar to juice ratio, but you're probably gonna have to spray it quite often because it doesn't last very long. Now, when we add everything up and average everything out, Dolce & Gabbana Anthology L'Imperatrice 3 gets a 7.3 out of 10. If you wanna see how L'Imperatrice compares to something like a Valentino Born in Roma Coral Fantasy, we found a comparison video of these two as well as other fragrance reviews, so check out the links in the description down below.